Hey YouTube, this is Mr. Zombie Fanatic and welcome back to another custom map. Today I am playing TMG Alcatraz, which is made by Nukem, and this is a really awesome but hard map. I've tried this map multiple times, solo and co-op, and I can never beat it. So I hope I'm going to beat it this time. Okay, let's do this. We got this. I have faith. Basically, you start off with a strength. There's like a one-hit kill to like round four or five. I believe it's four, but I don't know. Can't remember too good. And you got Varug Sprinters from the start, too. So really need to watch out for that. I mean, it makes the map a lot harder and a lot funner because you don't have to wait like ten minutes for the zombies to come in. But... It can also be annoying, especially whenever you start off with the strength. But the hardest part I find on this map is trying to get outside. Whenever you're in this prison, it is pretty hard because you got like, oh crap. Crap, there's a lot of zombies coming that way. No! Oh my gosh. Crap, I hate whenever they come that fast. But yeah, like I was saying, basically, the hardest part is inside this prison because, as you can see, you don't have much room to run around. The zombies come so fast. You got, like, tight corners and stuff. And you cannot rape train. So, it's pretty hard. But once you get outside, it gets pretty easy. It's still hard. Not gonna lie, but it gets pretty easy. Just throwing those to try and kill them. Because it's a good thing to try and point to her, but it's an also good thing to, like, kill them. Crap. Okay. Oh, crap. Got an insta kill. Let's go. Let's go. I don't know how I gained that many points. I do not know, but let's go. Basically, if you come in here. You come up here. It's basically a Type 100 you can buy, which is pretty awesome. It's the best weapon you're going to get for a while anyway. Okay. Where's this that zombie at? There you are. There you go. Wow. That was the most points I've ever gotten before. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Now, basically, if we come down here... There is a riser spark right here, but it seems like right here, they don't come up from behind you, so it's pretty easy to try and hold down this spot. I mean, this is what I tend to do anyway, because anywhere else you go, they'll just like pop up behind you and just fudge you up. This, they tend to come mostly from the um, front of you, as well as that riser spot that I pointed out before that you saw them rising out of. So basically, we can just stay here, build up some points. Oh crap, oh crap, no. Crap. Hate whenever they're running. Crap, reload, reload. Basically, you got about two more doors to open to get to outside. And outside, you got a pretty good training area. And it's gets pretty easy. Like, not easy, but it gets easier. And while that dude's taking a long time to knock down that barrier, I need to go and grab ammo, though, because if you want to have ammo on this map, you're pretty much done for. You are pretty much screwed. But if we open up this door, then open up that, we are outside now. Awesome. And there is a M4083 right there, which is a sniper, which I don't really want. And there is a couple guys over here, I believe, somewhere. They can shoot you to, like, help you out and stuff. They can drop a PPSH, too, so you can pick that up if you want to. See? You can kind of see them over there. Just going ham right now. 
crap. Oh, and you can also get these teddy bears will give you like a random gun. Oh crap. Oh crap. Don't want to put myself down with the ray gun. Or not even the ray gun, the zap gun. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. This map is scary because they can just pop out of nowhere and just basically go to town on you. Crap. Okay. Crap. We are back to the regular Type 100. And there's three more guys. So there. Now we can open up here. And there's a Tommy gun. Once you open up this for 1500. Once you open up that there's a Tommy gun. But I'm going to try and stay here for a little bit. I definitely want that Tommy gun though. That will help out so much. And there's another dude shooting too. To help like help you out. Oh crap. Here they come. Oh crap, I don't like this. I don't like this. Oh yeah, see those guys can really help you out. You don't get any points for the zombies killing, but they can help you out and get you out in the jam. It's kind of like having a pretty good co-op player. Crap. Crap, they're going to kill those dudes. No. Come on, draw me a max ammo, please. Crap. Crap. This is not good. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and train them. Hopefully, there's this dude over here who is, is, who is a big help. So hopefully, some of these guys will drop me max ammo. Okay. Crap. 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 Oh my gosh. No. Come on. Crap, I'm out of grenades. Somebody, please draw me max ammo. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Or that. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. And this is basically one of the um, guns that they can drop. No! 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 I took my eyes off of the screen for a second. Oh, my gosh. I'm going to be back in a second. Okay guys, I went back after that stupid down I had. I swear I took my... I took my eyes off of this queen for a split second because I thought I killed that dude. I shot him with the um, crossbow so I figured I killed him. But apparently I didn't... Crap. Yeah, apparently I didn't kill him because he killed me. So, yeah. But we're back. We are back. Hopefully, we will do good this time. This is the farthest I've ever been on this map before, though. Because I'm not too good at this map. And this is the farthest I've been. So, to make it this far is pretty awesome. And we basically don't need this dude no more. Crap. So let me kill him. Oh crap. Crap, I need to go, I need to go, I need to go. Okay. Basically right here is a kind of good camping spot. Especially if you're playing solo. Crap, crap, crap. Crap. 
crap. And you can jump down too if you need to. Oh, I want that. Crap. Don't think I'm gonna be able to get it. Crap, I need jug bad. There's only 12 left. Crap, is it still there? Oh, it is. Oh, yeah. I love this. Fully automatic. Okay. Crap. Oh, yeah. We gotta go this way now. Okay. We're getting closer to Jug. That's what we mainly need on this map. And luckily with that teddy bear you actually get max ammo. So you don't have to worry about needing ammo. Which is a good thing. How much is this? 1500. Okay. Crap. Come on, reload. Okay. Those guys with the peepee is going ham right now. Oh crap, oh crap. Oh, good thing you could circle around like that. Come on, reload. Oh crap. Hate having to reload on this map. Crap. Okay. I think we're good. Okay, there's one left. Think I can open that and get Jug. If I can get Jug, I will be good. Crap. There we are. Yes. Now just basically turn this on and jug. Yes. Okay. We got jug. There's a stone over there which is pretty amazing. So I'm going to have to try and get that. But we got jug now, dudes. This is the first time I've ever had jug on this map solo. I've never made it to Jug on this map solo. So, I think we're good. And one thing that I don't like about this map is the fact that Quick Revive on solo is the um, real good War at War version. So you basically can't get revived with it, which sucks. Oh crap, I got these binoculars. These, I don't understand what they do. You could basically just, I guess just look at the zombie. How you doing, zombie? Look at the pretty zombie's face, I guess. Crap. Okay, there we go. Okay. At least we get max ammo with it, though. I guess it's kind of worth it. Okay. So I'm probably going to buy that stoner in a minute. And another thing, dudes. Whenever you're playing, it'll come up like a generator will run out of fuel or something like that. So you basically got to keep the generators um, topped up with fuel. Because if you don't, you basically will lose the perk. Like, you won't lose it. It'll still be there. But it'll be grayed out. And you'll die within two hits. So it'll be like you don't have Jug. So yeah, you need to watch out for that. So I need to look around for fuel. You'll find like different fuels on fuels on the ground and stuff. 